Closer to home, it's been exactly one year since the CZU fires were fully contained and survivors still having to deal with the aftermath that comes after fires and having to rebuild your life, including a new clause that victims feel throws a wrench in their efforts here to, well, start new here, start fresh. KIO and Stephanie Aceves has an explanation on a county resolution and explains how it works and how it's going to be impacting people. Stephanie? Veronica, the journey for victims having to resurrect their homes has certainly come with its challenges, including a potential clause in a resolution passed by the county that may affect homeowners, but the county says it's to protect taxpayers in the county. Tensions ran high during the board meeting on September 14th, where the Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors unanimously passed the CZU Rebuild Directive, a resolution that supervisors passed to allow homeowners to build their homes without a geological hazard study. We lost our home in a wildfire. We lost everything. Children lost everything. And so the easiest thing for us is to not treat us as new builds because a lot of the codes in Santa Cruz are incredibly restrictive and oppressive. The thought behind the resolution is to save homeowners the cost of doing a geological study and save time, but it would have owners sign an agreement that would make them liable for damage caused by future disasters. The solution that they've come up with so far has to do with basically waiving the requirement to do a geologic investigation of your building site and instead adding a covenant into your deed that warns uh, future owners that uh, this home was built without uh, compliance with the geologic code. And it's a very trying process to go through to meet some obligations. Uh, and I absolutely acknowledge the concerns raised by our C CZU survivors about the covenant that we were debated on uh, last Tuesday. The county says it would protect future homeowners and taxpayers who would essentially pay if the county were to be held liable for future disasters. But Bradford says the county is solely concerned for themselves. It's very risk averse, which I sort of understand, but at the same time, they're not putting our best, best interests at heart. They're being protective of themselves. County residents have voiced their concerns about this resolution, that the county says they will have a meeting on September 28th to revisit the resolution. Veronica, back to you.